makes it hard to describe Antarctica for someone who has never been there. It's just massive. The ice is massive. The vistas are, are endless. So the mountains are huge. So the wildlife is vibrant. Colonies of penguins, seals, and just unlike anything you could possibly find on planet Earth. I've been there uh, many, many times, and what I love the most is the ice. I never tire of the shapes, the colors. Sometimes these icebergs, they turn over, and then all of a sudden, something that was white is now the crystal blue. The light is amazing. It is otherworldly. Hello, my name's Sven Lindblad, and I'm the founder and chief executive officer of Lindblad Expeditions. In 1966, my father had led the first layman expedition, citizen scientists, I would call them, to Antarctica. And it got a lot of press because it was extraordinary, and some even referred to it as akin to flying to the moon. Since 1966, over 50 years ago, we have built an extraordinary amount of experience in Antarctica. One of the things I've discovered over time is that there are a lot of people who would like to go to Antarctica. They just don't have the time that it takes to go in both directions, across the Drake Passage to the Antarctic and back again. What we want to make Antarctica accessible for people with our limited time frame. So beginning in the winter of 2024, we will have two entirely new, very exciting programs to Antarctica. A fly-in, fly-out, and sit-in, fly-out. So this really broadens the opportunity to make it possible for a wider segment of society to go to Antarctica. It is so powerful as a destination. I have seen lots of travelers over the years transformed by their travel experiences, and probably no place more so than Antarctica. And so it's, in many ways, the ultimate travel experience. Why should somebody choose to come to Antarctica with Lindblad Expeditions and National Geographic? I think the primary reason is we will use your time really, really well. What do I mean by that? We have over 50 years' experience in Antarctica. Our captains have been on more than 500 voyages. Our expedition leader had been down there for more than 11 seasons. Have a wonderful time ashore here in Bokwapa. We really, really know what we're doing. That provides two things. We know how to give you an extraordinary experience to really maximize your possibilities and do it in the utmost safety. Both of our new programs will be conducted on the National Geographic Explorer. She's got a 1A ice class. She has a spacious lounge for lectures and for gatherings, lovely dining areas, saunas. We have a lot of technology aboard, video microscopes, ROVs, which are remote underwater vehicles that can go down to a thousand feet. We have an undersea specialist aboard who helps bring the undersea to life, which is vibrant and interesting. Our bridge is configured in such a way that it's not only great for navigation, but also very welcoming for guests. And so I love the National Geographic Explorer. A lovely, lovely ship, and you will enjoy her very, very much. As a consequence of adding these new, shorter programs to Antarctica, that we have a really well-rounded set of opportunities for our travelers. Anything from 22 days, where you explore Antarctica, South Georgia, and the Falkland, to our traditional 12-night voyage. It isn't that one idea is better than the other, it's just different ideas suit different people for different reasons. I personally would go to Antarctica every year if I had the time. It's that magical, it's that impactful. So I hope you choose to go to Antarctica one day, and I hope you choose to go with us.